Hey my beautiful dolls and welcome to another makeup where it's another lovely makeover and this is the look that we're doing. I'm a start off with a clean face um, I moisturize and, and all that before I'm starting with the lips I'm using Carmex today to moisturize the lips and then we're gonna go in our HD hydrating primer to moisturizing primer because she has she's on the drier side of the spectrum with her skin and then we're going in with the clean color I believe brow pencil in dark and the benefit brow powder in the brows we're keeping it quite close to the shade of her natural brows um it's quite dark she has dark brows as you can see and she likes them thick all right so for today's look we're doing a look on a hooded eye we're doing a cut crease a pink glitter cut crease on a hooded eye Hope you enjoy. Here I'm using my gel gel to set the hairs in place to give it a hair like appearance and keep the hair hairs of the brows in place. Carving out the brows, I believe I used um, LA Girl Toast or something like that um, for her brows. You know, use a lighter shade that's on because she is a lighter complexion, and then we're gonna use that to conceal her lids as well. So we're bringing it all the way down. <laughs> gonna pat that down to make sure there's no wet areas for the powders to adhere to and crease I'm going in my I think it's some beauty treats palette I just grabbed this because it has very vibrant colors and I wanted to do something kind of like a twiggy kind of look you know those 60s 70s cut crease kind of look so i'm gonna put the bright pink a very fluffy pink in the inner corners of her eyes and then i'm gonna trans um go in with a darker what you call it wine color it has a little bit more of a purple tone in that pink in the, the inner corner of the eyes, I'm kind of, kind of do it like an abstract kind of inner corner right here, and then I'm gonna cut the crease after. Alright, so I totally forgot that I actually went a little bit darker, and I applied a purpley brown so it's like it looks purple and it also looks brown um underneath that shade to kind of give it a little bit more de definition here you see me cutting that portion that we did in the inner corner of the eyes i'm just using the derma blend um, foundation sample that I always use. I use it as a primer, I use it as my cut crease. It's very thick and I love it for that. I'm using it with a concealer brush just to define that section that we just um, added to the inner corner of the eyes.
makeup artist and having a strong client in my chair tends to get a little bit complicated so don't mind the angles and how the hands are working all right so we took a little wine break so i gotta show you guys that and yeah so we are packing it down remember we have to make sure that it doesn't get creasy or blotchy when we apply our shadows now i'm applying for my 35 o palette a slightly warm brown um this a bit darker than her skin tone with a little bit more orange in her crease area well not her, well, not her natural crease and making her a crease because she has a hooded eye which i didn't see before um so i'm doing this look on a hooded eye to make it look full and rounder um so yeah we're applying that shade in the crease and blending it up into that inner corner um cut crease that we did When I have a special client in the chair, I have to introduce her. So this is one of my very first friends. Once again, she was visiting the island. Um, I think it's on. But yeah, let's get back to the look. This is where I'm cutting the crease. I am cutting this area and rounding it out. Um, it's kind of, as, I, as you can see, it's joining the inner portion of the eyes together and we're now blending them together it's two different colors but we're blending them to look like one combined cohesive um shape So now I'm patting down the primer, the concealer that, that is on the lid, and then I'm going to go in with a with the shade that is in the inner corner cut crease area. Um, I think it's the first shade, the brighter pink, and I'm gonna create a blended liner, cat, um, cat eye shape like with this shade. I'm just gonna take it from the eyebrow to, to the inner half of well the outer half of the eye on the lash line. into the conversation so you will see some laughing some giggling and all of that like you've been seeing throughout the video and we've been chatting it up um, but we're moving on to the face now i'm cleaning up the brows using the foundation that we're using on the brows to clean up um, on the brows before we add the foundation <laughs> stick in nutmeg or walnut I don't remember which one to kind of bronze up the face and contour the face in essence to bring some deep depth to the face and definitely define um, the outer portion of her face. Alright so I'm spraying her face with setting spray to lively up the foundation so it can blend a little bit more as I said her face is on the driest spectrum of the skin um, um, type so we do that so that the foundation doesn't dry out her face too much I'm using Eddie Girl um, concealer under her eyes um, 
I mix it with a little bit of white um, to lighten up the under eyes and brighten his hair. You can see I'm applying the white um, to definitely highlight the right underneath the eyes. <laughs> totally forgot that the camera had cut off when I decided to change a little bit more of the eyes and I didn't show that or I didn't say that um, but yeah I went in back with the pink and kind of went over that outer portion that we did with the with the orangey brown because um, I, I remembered what, that I wanted more of a twiggy look if you know what twiggy looks is like it's like a very defined cut crease kind of look um, so I was kind of going for that look and now I'm setting her on the eyes with the Derma Blend um, setting powder in translucent um, because this is what I love to use for my lighter skin babes. <laughs> And here I'm using Earth Glow by Milani for the bronzer and bronzing up the section that we use the darker shade. It's to define the skin. I'm here. I'm um, what would you call it? Low lighting the contour to make sure it's dramatic. Cause I was going for a kind of dramatic look for this one this is more like a full full glam kind of look and then we're gonna blend it out I'm applying a bit of highlight on her cheeks um, this highlight is by Makeup Revolution I'm mixing some shades out of that palette and now i'm gonna add some glitter to her eyes these glitters are actually from aliexpress i believe um just using these to bring some pizzazz to this look i really loved how this look came out i was just channeling some creative um outlets i'm sure i'll try to be creative with this look and get some different looks um for my dolls because most of my client clients really love the soft glam looks but i want to do more of these full dramatic looks so i was just showing you guys um how did the, the glitters look up close and now i'm gonna line the line the, the lash line with the ink by nyx liner and then i'm gonna do a white wing um, just to create some drama and define the eyes because I really like how it brought some brightness to the eyes as well. Here I'm applying the Melani eyeshadow topper. Um, this is the one in, that looks white in the in the container, but it's really pink. Very pretty um, eyeshadow topper, and then I'm just applying some lashes. We love a good lash moment, don't we? So yeah, these are the lashes for this look. <laughs> I'm using this Ellie Girl, I believe, um, lip pencil to define her lips. It's a very pinky um, color um, to match with the lips, with the eyes, I should say. And I'm doing like a pinky nude, a light pinky nude in the inner portion of the lips. We're doing a ombre lip, a pouty lip um, for this look because like, we have to bring it, we have to finish this look off. Good. so this is the look um i really really love this outcome as i said look at that skin skin is skinning and glowing and defined lips are pouty and just luscious 
and the eyes the eyes you you wouldn't even realize that oh she has hooded eyes because it just brightens and widens her eyes with this look and i really love it